Hello once again YouTube and welcome back to The Domain. Today I've got something very special under this blanket. Waha! Here we go. It is the Halo Infinite Mercenary and UNSC Combat Unit. Today is part one where I'll be unboxing this beautiful set and then next time I'll be unboxing this and if that doesn't quite quench your thirst for these sets, I'll do a full review of both of them together as well. And in these videos, I might end up being a little more blunt than usual, because when you compare these sets to the gods that have come before them, you only get three figures compared to the old five-team fire teams. Five-team fire teams, that rolls off the tongue. Alright, so, today, I mean, first of all, look at them side by side. It's so cool how they're shooting towards each other. I don't think they square up perfectly, the mountains definitely don't, and they're on different terrains. I think they would probably all miss each other, and it's also kind of funny where, like, they replace the muzzle flares, like, they have special effects. I wonder actually how many people over the years have bought a set, opened it, and expected to get some kind of muzzle flare attachment. But this time, you can actually see this one, which is pretty cool. I mean, all three of them are firing some kind of artillery. Hopefully, we will see attachable plasma, like little muzzle flares for plasma in the future. Wouldn't that be cool? Especially for a needler. Imagine if you could attach a needle round to that thing. All right, so we've got the mercenary combat unit, three figures with a couple of nice accessories. One of them pretty basic, I think, but if we look at the back, it is a super cool set. We've got three of these figures. I mean, this is definitely the best thing this year for army building your Banished. Not that, you know, there's even a Banished game yet. I mean, there's Halo Wars 2, but <laughs> we don't have Halo Infinite for a lot more time. I kind of came to the realization the other day, we might get three full waves of these toys. We might get like three full blind bag series, maybe even four blind bag series before we actually get Halo Infinite. How mad would that be? Hey, there we go. Well, that's, uh, that's any resale value gone. <laughs> Alright, what do we have inside? Cool, cool. We've got the three figures in individual bags. That's great. And then, I guess that's actually a lot of pieces. Yeah, that's not bad. You'll sort of hear me going on and off about this throughout these reviews, that you can't help compare these to the old fire teams. I know when the Halo Infinite 2020 wave was announced, we were quite excited about all the sets, but we weren't exactly thrilled to see that we were only getting three figures in the fire teams. Like that has literally just dropped off more and more. It used to be five, then it was four, and now, look at us now, we're on three. I get it that the pieces are a lot to make, but then again, all of these figures are just remolds of existing figures. I mean, especially this brute, my goodness. We have just seen this brute so many times recently. I immediately see that this is the same as the Skiff Intercept Brute Warrior, where it's only got one leg and one shoulder piece of armor. Only one for each side. So yes, it is still a really nice figure, but it definitely has a lot less armor than say the Halo Hero Series 12 Craig the Brute. Also, how you doing, Craig? It's, it's been a while. I recently got a Craig the Brute in my Spartan armor pack, and yes, that includes a full set of armor compared to this one. They have changed it up a bit. They, they try to make it slightly different colors. Definitely the figure that I'm excited the most about is this Jackal. We've really only seen the Jackal. Oh, just, it's just so ugly. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry, Jackals. They really did a number on you. I think they're definitely inspired a lot by the Halo 2 anniversary cutscenes. Those things will like bite your face off. And really we only got a Jackal in the Warthog, so it's cool to see another. But he definitely works really well with this red colour and his crotch piece, I guess you would call it, is only one piece. But look at him, he looks great. It's just such a lanky boy, my goodness. They need to feed you more, Jackal. You're basically in a slave army, or are you paid? I See, that, that's the thing with, with Halo Wars, because like, what do you do with the Covenant when there's no religious order? You pretty much just have to pay them, and like, that's the idea with the Banished, that they're kind of mercenaries. What do you pay a Jackal? Like, why would a Jackal leave its homeworld just to fight in your wars? Like, why would it rage war against humanity? I don't think it'll ever get fleshed out either. I don't know exactly how much deep lore goes into some Covenant species and why they fight for the Covenant. I mean, they all fight for the Covenant because of the religious aspect, I guess. But then, like, yeah, like, why would some of these random species bother fighting? Like, pretty much fighting humanity has probably wiped out, like, insane amounts of their species, like, near genocidal. I guess if they're sent to a ring, they could be convinced that it's still some kind of religious affair. Like, Jackal Freebooter. 
What, what, what is what is a freebooter? <laughs> I'm not quite sure. We've got the Elite Ultra. You know, when the Elite Ultra was announced, I was so excited about him. And I still kind of am, but I feel like we're definitely seeing enough of him. I mean, we're already getting another Elite Ultra in the Series 2 Halo Infinite blind bag, so I just, you know... That's that's enough, you know. That, that's a good amount. Let's uh, let's just stop there for a while. Let's not just keep on plowing these guys out just because they're a new mold. You really have to force these guys in, or they'll just pop out of their torsos in the future. Okay, that red is actually excellent. That looks amazing. I am delightfully surprised by that, and we also have this really nice light blue eye. Very cool. Look at these guys. What a cool little team. Team Freebooters or whatever <laughs> whatever they're called. That is the three figures. Let's build some things. What do we have here? Let's see how quickly Simon can build this pro build a Oh my goodness, what? what? Why is this so comically big? What a waste! Look at all this dead space. Why are you printing on such a massive piece of paper? That's unnecessary. Oh gosh. Oh, oh god. Oh, the poor jackal. That is the stuff of nightmares, that is gross. That's actually very cool, I like that effect. Sort of like, uh, I don't know, barbed wire in some kind of covenant way. I've said that these barricades are a little limp, they don't have anything on the back, they're not very 3D. They would kind of fall over very easily if they were actually in battle, but still pretty nice. And also that nice red color, I'm a big fan of. Let's build this thing up. Yeah guys, as always, I hope you are enjoying my content. It's been a funny month, it's been a funny, funny however long since we moved to Hong Kong, it's always a funny time. Trying to get some more complicated videos out. It's pretty difficult to film and release more complicated videos when you're also on like a super tight work schedule. It is much easier to film unboxing videos because I don't want you guys to go like high and dry. I'd rather be giving you some kind of content. So the unboxing videos are definitely the easiest, but I would like to get some more complicated videos out in the future and some kind of cinematic videos with like all different 4K Halo footage. I'm really trying to get hold of 4K Halo footage actually. I really honestly don't have the time or capacity to film my own stuff right now. I can't record all the Halo cutscenes. So if you're listening to this video and you know a good place to get them, please do hit me up. That would be pretty awesome. I am no rookie to Forerunner structures. And here is another super bland on the back. Like that does not look like the back of a Forerunner structure. Like it, it should be mirrored perfectly. So that's um, that's not amazing, but still see what it looks like on a display. Okay, that's a cool design. It's sort of floating off the ground. I do enjoy that a lot. I mean, that is ugly at the back. That's, uh, that's not amazing. That is a really cool mold. Let's put together this turret. They've really been throwing around this design whoever got whoever made this design must have got a raise at the office this way to like easily insert plasma and stuff oh look at that oh yeah oh, the, oh this is the this is the controversy right because this comes out of this gun because like we haven't even seen this gun in action in Halo Infinite so we don't know why it fires sort of like this fire maybe this is Mega Bloks uh, variation of plasma or maybe it's some kind of electricity. I don't know. It, it looks pretty cool. And then we can load one of these in. Easy peasy. And then it pops that up and it's ready to fire. What a genius invention. Nice little handles in the back for your figure to hold. And then, okay. That's a lot more flexibility than I was expecting, so that's really cool. And then, yeah, okay, that's that's surprising to me. And this could kind of just be like its stationary position, and then when you sort of touch it, it's ready to go. Okay, I'm impressed with that. That's really nice. That's all of our stuff built up. Let's display it. There you have it. I am seeing red and I am seeing banished glory. Look at this set. I started off a, l a little cynical, a little skeptical because yes, the fire team has been reduced from five to four to three. I mean, it's been a gradual thing. And now we're at the point where it is only three figures, but you've got to give it to Mega. They are some excellent figures. Yes, some of them are a little bit of a rerun from old sets. Hello, Craig. I mean, I really need to see more variation than that. But this Elite Ultra and the jackal really make it for me. The foreigner structure, which yes, I missed a couple of pieces off the back, I added them now, still looks very bare and is a bit one dimensional. And I would say the same for the barricade. Usually barricades would have some pieces coming off the back, but the figures, epic, and the turret really brought it home for me. I didn't expect to like this turret so much, but it's got some great flexibility, a really nice single cast mold, which is all they really needed, great handles at the back, and a very efficient firing mechanism. So all in all, a quality set, a real quality set. In the next episode, I'll be unboxing the UNSC combat unit 
and then if you would like I'll do a full review of both of them together. Thank you very much for tuning in today guys, I hope you enjoyed and this was another video with The Domain. As always you stay awesome out there. We have just launched a brand new event on our Mega Constructs Domain Facebook group. We're celebrating the 19th anniversary of Halo Combat Evolved. If you post a picture or video there, you can get featured on one of my upcoming videos. And the Elite Ultra, nice and menacingly, is signing off. <laughs>